Okay, just enter the bullet tournament on Chesky before I try and record it uh, for a laugh. Um, hopefully, it's going to be played. It's uh, starting um, soon in about three minutes' time. Got four players out of the six needed. I'm against Timo something. Let's play D4, I think. Got the volume off a bit. Alright, so is it a King's Engine or. Nope. I think I'm going to slip in an H4 attack here. Um, just to mix things up a bit. Cause some panic. Maybe H4, H6 here. Okay, I'll get that off and play G4, I think. Okay, let's tie down these knights on the queen side as well. Uh, maybe knight a4, or actually, what about knight h2 to g5 here? Uh, to knight um, g4 to f6. Try and get that in. If I can get a knight to f6, that'll look a bit tasty. Maybe f4 and d5. Uh, maybe d5 soon to open up this diagonal. Potentially, if I get Queen to C3 now, try and open up that diagonal. Was this all a bit, a bit hair raising the uh, weakening? Um, I can allow myself to get skewered. Whoops. Um, I'm trying to open up this diagonal though, so maybe this this doesn't matter. Um, on the other hand, what about F5 here? Um, <clears throat> I think I've blown it actually. Whoops. Okay, I've got a pin at the moment, uh, which is a bit pointless. Uh, okay, d5 is under fire though. He's a bit short on time. Oh, he's giving me d5. Okay, maybe there's hope. If I can get um, some counterplay here, maybe king coming to b6. If I win this pawn, wins. Uh oh. Um, trying to get my pawns going. Oh, strange. Bit of a dramatic game, to be honest. <laughs> Just the whole piece down for quite a while, but it's the nature of bullet chess. <laughs> ah, <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh dear. Uh, so I blame the live commentary myself. You know, trying to do live commentary during a bullet game is just... Uh, <laughs> it's just crazy. Oh dear, oh dear. What was I thinking here? What was I thinking? Too many weaknesses. Uh, okay, I just, I just saw the diagonal, I think, here. And um, forgot about just losing lots of material. Um, maybe just knight e4 to d6 is more prudent. Um sort of walking into a self pin. In fact, uh, is it my last chance here? Well quit taking off d five is probably not the hottest idea. Maybe just castles queenside and I would have been fine. Uh so instead I'm just I'm just really asking for trouble. Maybe here just knight takes e seven and then just castle queenside and that would have got my, my trump card here this diagonal again but uh but this is this is now walking into that that's anyway okay i'll put in the pre move of e6 <clears throat> let's try for a dutch stone wall like that brilliancy game i think so i'm, I'm pretending i'm playing something boring pounce with f5 now except he's playing the stone wall as well ah oh, but he's committed now uh that c5 so maybe i can just undermine with b6 pretty soon i'll try and get the standard uh king side attack going now Okay, maybe open up the G file. Let me challenge this knight. Okay, maybe take with this one. Um, am I weak on this diagonal? Probably. Um, get the knight to G6, maybe. Get this bishop out. Actually, E8 to H5 somewhere um, without losing too much material. Oh uh, dear, they're walking into G5, aren't they? soon at some point um <clears throat> that looks as though it's unpleasant 
Okay, I'm taking here anyway. I can take on e5 with check. Okay, that maybe that's saving my bacon for a bit. Where is d4 here? Or knight h4 protects h5 for the moment. Unless there's rook takes f7. Um. Okay, let's go back here. <laughs> I don't want to lose h4 with check. Except bishop d4 is looking scary. Uh, okay, oh, can I play for e3? If I can get e3, I'll avoid losing e4. I'll try and get the bishop on d5. Uh, we'll, ch we'll check maybe. Okay, if I can get um, this bishop into the game somehow. Oh, he's sacked. Um, okay, what's going on here? Can I get queen d2 in? He's going to lose on time, I think. Or is it position? If I can get bishop here. Um, okay, get the knight back in without getting mated. Okay, just one on time. Uh, that was <laughs> another terrible game. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh. oh dear. What can we say? What can we say about these bullet games? They're rubbish, aren't they? <laughs> so, um, I mean, I was trying in principle to get this bishop good, but you know, he was attacking me with his pawns. It was vicious. You know, these pawns g5. You know, I thought I was one doing the attacking. You come in with maybe queen h5 soon, but no, his e5 got got loosened here. So maybe I, I started getting back in the game. He had overcommitted h5 fortunately protected by the bishop but maybe there was like rook f7 there uh, you know when I played knight h4 here rook f7 queen h5 then if king g7 I lose the knight okay uh, can I play a bit more positionally with white maybe to try and not give the opponent tons and tons of counter play maybe gambit is suit, suits it okay except if he's gonna win the knight now with b4 that wouldn't have been the best pre-move can I try and just blast the position open with d5? I'm going to give it a go. It's tempting me. Uh, okay. Um, I'll just take this one and come back to d4, and then maybe to f5. Okay, if I can get to maybe bishop f4, knight f5, bishop f4, knight f5, queen d4, maybe on that um, on that g7 square. Can I use? Uh, is this all optimistic? It is, isn't it? Um, okay, I'm on g7. Great. I'm hitting the knight on c5. Great. It's got knight e6. Protecting g7. Attacking stuff. Um, okay, so maybe like f4's dropping off. But uh, can I use the g file then? Ah. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll take and then um, maybe knight over here. Maybe to d7. Maybe d5 is slightly weak, actually check, throw that in, that's harmless isn't it, okay, um, okay, losing bishop, then d4 is is seemingly strong, except, okay, walking to another self pin, but e4 is a bit loose here, actually he's a bit short on time, one good thing about my play in, in these hor horrendous games, uh, so far, it seems um, my clock management has been okay. Maybe it's the confusion factor of my moves as well, which contributes to getting a clock advantage. If I can get both rooks on the seventh here, I'll be happy. Or one rook on the seventh, fine. Uh, small end game advantage. Um, outside past a pawn. Oh, one on time. Okay, probably another two games to go. Ah, <laughs> so uh, is it worth reviewing this horrendous game as well? Now, one of the commentators last year was a bit less than generous with my five-minute videos. Uh, the question was posed um, something like, um, "What am I learning from this from this crap?" Now, to be honest, most of the games you pro there probably is nothing to learn. It's just chaos, just generally. I mean, there's the vague hint that I have some idea of what I'm doing in some positions. Let's stop that. But I mean, I guess the confusion factor in blitz games plays a critical part of successful online chess when you're just playing blitz for fun. 
Now, in, in normal, you know, feeder rate games, obviously you're going to be spending like, you know, sometimes an hour on one move, you know, even or near, near an hour. Anyway, so Tango, but let's confuse things with H4 because I find that really annoying myself uh, when, when White doesn't do what you expect. So you don't get the normal sort of Tango sort of plans. Um, okay, now I'm going to try and target G6. If I can target G6, um, maybe just F3, E4. Maybe F3, E4. Uh, try and get in maybe a knight to e3 now looks tempting get the queen maybe off that that sensitive um uh, c file so maybe queen b3 here okay if i can castle queen side or oh, snag that pawn um bit of a clock advantage already but rook c3 looks as though it's winning a piece no as bishop takes d7 check so i'm not losing b5 at the moment so um uh, okay, what about so if I if I just take and try and suck up the pressure? Maybe knight. Um, do I mind losing b2? I don't think I do because the knight c4 takes d6. Uh, but then I don't know rook c2. But then there's rook c1. Okay, I'll just take this guy. Oh, come to f5. That's nice. Maybe get this guy off and try and use some positional trump cards. Do they exist? Blockade that pawn. Uh, get the king back in center maybe rook b1 to b7 at some point okay i'll take here maybe threaten as though that bishop okay which he hasn't done anything about but i'm losing f3 whoops okay disaster uh that pawn is probably just winning he's got 10 seconds to think about this oh he's giving me the queen with check uh, except i've just lost another bit of material I'll try and get this pawn um, get the king up here. Just give me the queen. Can I get this pawn? Ah, oh, I didn't get that pawn. I could have just got that pawn to try and. That's a real tragedy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. Didn't I put in the pre-move? Ah, oh, I thought the pre-move was there. Never though, I still might come second if I can win the last game. I don't know. It's always the hope. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, French defense, exchange variation. I'll just do this little recipe. Vincetto, and play for light square control. If I can get in uh, bishop f5, try and play on the e4 square. All right, if I can get in knight d6 to e4, that's usually a good idea. So I can get in f5, knight e4. It's always confusing a bit. To the exchange French player. Let me get a kingside attack. Maybe rook f7 actually is a good idea. Or g5, g4. Rook f7. This may, maybe not needed at the moment. Um, I can sacrifice d6 to get in. Um, uh, try and get in a vicious kingside attack. <laughs> uh, oh, he's getting in this check. Okay. But can I have rook f7? All right, let's let's try and play positionally. Then, if he's going to play positionally, I'll protect that d8. And try and evict the rook. Okay, I've I've got a clock advantage built up. Um, but did I want to play knight takes b4 there? Probably because d4 is a bit weaker. I'm getting rook c4. Okay, if I can get rook c4, then d4 or b4 is dropping off. Okay, bit of a positional game. Um, maybe a check to win something over here, or maybe not. Rook c2 well, looks tempting. Or just just e4, rook c2. Okay, get the king in. Okay, I can get the king in. Or rook f1 is really dangerous now. Rook f1 tying down the rook. So now, if I get the king to d3, 
Where's the rook going? If I can get an e3 and f2, surely, or just, just this to get the, the past pawn is really dangerous in the centre. Okay. Okay, hopefully, I don't know, the guy that beat me is probably, uh, let's see the leaders. So I'm, I was on three with uh, maybe Kingway, who was on two. Didn't he just beat me? Which means I might have a share of first pri prize here. Never know. Never know. Um, so I needed to win that last game for sure. First place, yes! Even though I took a defeat, I've just won 2,550 cubits. First out of the six. Strong tournament, that for Bullet. Uh, great, I'm pleased with that. Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.